we go. We got Vosh. Uh, hello? Hello. You are on. Hey. Do you want to put Howdy. your camera on so we can see you? I'm sure my chat would I'm not to putting, I'm not. I'm not decent for screen okay, right all right. I'm not Listen. putting my fucking camera on. All right. Let me, nice try. What's all up? Right, all right. All right. Hold on a second. Let me just put you. Let me Let me make sure I get the credit. I wouldn't want you to miss, miss out on that, on the, on the clout, you know? Gotcha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so, uh, DGG says that you think I'm bad faith and that I suck and shit. Um, is that I true? Didn't say it, man. Okay. No, well, that's I what D that. that's what the DGGers who are currently in my, uh, oh, I don't know if you saw, did you just see destiny, uh, have me on quote unquote for TV? Yeah, I saw that was funny as fuck. Yeah, it was um, very funny. He was definitely, do, what do you think? Do you think he was mad? Do you think he might've been I a little you, mad? I think you're both pretty mad to be honest really? with you. You think yeah, I'm mad? I mean, I think you came off pretty mad in that interaction. Wait, is really? it wrong to be mad? Wait, Damn, is it wrong to be mad? I thought it was funny as fuck. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean. Okay. Anyway, sure. no. DGG. I sit in DGG, and anytime they don't like something that you do, they'll be like, "Yeah, this is your protege, Vosh." Yeah. But anytime I say I think you do something right or something wrong, like it, you know, it's all hyperbolized. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, so okay, wait. I only caught a little bit of it. So the okay. conversation, the conversation was, the Scrub King was making the argument that ladies should make more compliments to guys. And you were making the argument that that's great and all, but you shouldn't expect any compulsory behavior out of women. And additionally, the reason why women don't do that tends to be rooted in a lot of pre-existing and legitimate expectations of harassment or sexual violence or a lot of other really nasty stuff. Do I have that basically right? Yes, at that point of the debate. Now, it started all from a meme he posted, and it's really what? funny. Like, I don't know, again. I saw the meme. The meme okay, yeah. Yeah, the meme was fine. And actually, we had like, we had like an hour long discussion before we even got to the part where it was spicy, even though Des Destiny said I was like baiting him and all this shit. I don't know. They've got mm -hmm. their own narrative. The fact of the matter is like, what happened was I was looking at this meme and I'm like, I don't know. Me and my chat were looking at it and we were like, this seems like there's some like really um, entitled to, to women's attention shit going on here, but maybe it's not. So we had him on and we talked about it. And then as we started to go a little deeper he started having other takes that were kind of like oh well if a woman uh at one point he said that if a woman tells a man that he's cute then that's an invitation for sexual attention and i said wait a second you can't be serious like that's that's exactly the so, problem that we're talking about so, so yeah. the the issue is i don't remember like what happened enough to be able to know if you're mischaracterizing anything yeah. that's not an insult i mischaracterize people i've talked to i just don't remember it enough to be able to agree or disagree with your specific recant of something that happened mm -hmm. there were a couple of points he made that i remember disagreeing with there was some there was one in particular i think i even typed out about i just um it slipped in my mind right now but it was something kind of off i think the, now so Lexi i think the a, scrub king's okay. underlying Sorry. point Huh? No, no, sorry. I, I Go ahead. I didn't realize you were going to say more things, but yeah. Sorry, I only have a little bit of time, so I'm just that's trying fine, to ramble up. Fine, that's fine. I think the Scrub King's underlying point is legitimate. I do think, like, men do get very, very little, mm -hmm. like, genuine, platonic, uh, uh, like, kindness mm -hmm. thrown their way. Yeah. And there's a legit problem. I mean, from, from men, from women, all over the place. And usually mm -hmm. the compliments you get from guys are backhanded, too. It'll be like, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, you, yeah, nice job with you piece of shit. Yeah, fucking... Um, can I say the F slur here? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, but you can. The, yeah, of course. Yeah, because um, they do that a lot. And that's probably not great, like, long term. That probably doesn't lead to great mental health consequences. Um, the, the main issue that I had is that a couple of points during the discussion, I don't remember it well enough to nail down anything. I feel like you two agreed on something, mm -hmm. but then you would go on to, like, denounce the thing that the Scrub King said that it felt like was an agreement with what you said. Hmm. Like maybe there were, there were some points where it felt like, um, you know, in cartoons, mm -hmm. somebody will say like, ah, you, uh, you give, give me the password or I'll beat you up. And then the guy gives them the password. And the guy who asked initially is like, all right, now I'm going to beat you up. What? Like they were primed and expecting a certain answer, but they didn't yeah. get it. I felt like that was you in some positions there where like you hmm. got a reconciliatory gesture, but you were, you had primed yourself to expect antagonism, so you responded in kind, and it made it seem like you were ignoring his point. Oh, interesting. That's the I that's mean, the impression I got. A couple of points there, no, but I'd fair. have to like look it over. Um, yeah, like I mean, there were a couple of points where I was frustrated with him, and I noticed that, um, like, and this is something that like irritated me in watching Destiny react to it, and also watching mm -hmm. DGG react to it. But like, 
he literally did the Donald Trump thing where I said he was willing to go and pontificate for like a long period of time about what women should do to make things better for men. And I said, well, what should men do? Well, he goes, men and society. And I'm like, okay, well, what do men need to do? You already told us. You say, obviously, men and women are both a part of society. But why do you keep saying, well, men and society need to do this? Or the government. He pivoted to the government at one point about what the mm -hmm. government. And so that made me very confused. And what that felt like to me, very much so, especially given the entire context of the conversation that we'd had, where we could have, the whole conversation could have ended at the very beginning if he was just willing to say, like, oh, yeah, like, I didn't mean this, like, you know, men and women can't be friends. But the thing that kept happening is as I asked him some questions about that, he did answer things that indicate that he probably kind of somewhere has a belief that men and women can't really be friends. You mm -hmm. know, that sort of like common incel belief. I, like, I it don't is. know if that's the impression. Well, I might have gotten a light impression of that. Yeah. I think a lot of people have that feeling somewhere in them. For sure. Um, should be challenged, right? Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm just I think that it it's I think it's an informed enough of a bias to be worth examining mm -hmm. and not to, I guess, persecutory a context. I think mm -hmm. that it would have been better if you'd used the Socratic method a little bit more during some points in that conversation. Yeah, it was um, a really especially... off the cuff debate for sure. But I mean, also like the part where I started to get a little frustrated and we got we got a little more blood sportsy and dunksy. Um, mm -hmm. And I've had conversations with the Scrub King before. In fact, he's going to come on after this, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, mm -hmm. but like the point where it was is where like there were two separate instances where I explained something that he asked me directly, and then he was like, "Uh, sorry, what?" And I was just like, "Dude, like that's so disrespectful." No, know? I I, I like, know what you mean. And it, it happens to me like all a, the time as a, like a girl. A like, I, I recognize that. Again, I don't remember well enough to like have any particular points in mind, yeah. but the times where you called that out, yeah. it did fit. It felt like you were a little bit big mad. I mean, Not it's because funny. you necessarily I mean, were that, wrong. Like, oh gosh, but, they say well, this about me all the time, no matter what well, I do. Well, hold on, please. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just a humble outsider. That's fine. The, that's only, fine. I'm not mad right, the only point. The only point that I'm trying to make is that in the context of a discussion like that, mm. to call out your interlocutor acting in bad faith is something you have to do really delicately mm. because otherwise it can give the impression that you're just projecting a sense of hurt that they're not taking you seriously enough. Mm. But that's also kind of a concession in a way. Mm. And when you engage in that kind of behavior, it puts the conversation in a position where it feels like the only out is like performative anger. Um, I think that the best solution to a couple of the points in that conversation would have just been to ask like, over and over and over again because if there was any like recurring issue i found mm -hmm. it was that i felt like anger on your part mm -hmm. and maybe anger is not the right emotion from Discrub king it would probably be um i think there were a few points where the scrub king acted as though they weren't willing to see out your argument to its natural conclusion they were willing to answer to like the superficial question that was asked but not go to the underlying point or like examine it further and something like that is really easy to get through if you just repeatedly ask questions or if you're very calm and not conciliatory but like you you, you extend out the hand i think that that probably uh, would have been a slightly better approach because there were a lot of people in destiny's chat who got the impression you weren't engaging with his points even even if I know a lot of what you were doing was attempting to address the context he was leaving out in his responses. But to yeah. some people, that gives the impression you're ignoring what he's saying, and it just turns into a big mess. Yeah. I, can I, yeah, can I that... give like a little bit of like pushback on this? Like not major, yeah, last like, I'm round not up. mad at you, but I like, and I think you understand a lot of this, but like um, one of the most like predominant experiences of being a streamer since I've started being streaming and going on panels and all kinds of stuff, often as the mm -hmm. only femme presenting person on any panel that I go on, like mm -hmm. I, at, no matter what I do on all of my videos, everybody just constantly bad faith, this bad faith, that. And it's really funny because if I ever do it to anybody else, then everybody tells me, oh, you're being so emotional and you're, you're so, you're too angry. And then I watch and I'm like, and I go and watch destiny and I watch destiny or you or to scrub King or whoever, all these people who've built an entire brand out of just going fucking right for the throat, ripping the shit out of everybody they go into. They'll be like, oh, nice, this, that, whatever, and like go hard as fuck on them. But even when I don't go far as fu hard as fuck, all I get is your bad faith, your like, your, you need to be more conciliatory. And like, I'm not saying you're doing this at all. I'm just trying to provide some pushback because it feels like yeah, no matter what I do, this is always the thing. In fact, well, yeah, you're there are multiple well, yeah, you're people who's like, like, 
Just my conversation with Destiny resulted in me getting a fuckload of anti stands whose entire thing was to follow me around, even into my Discord, and like demand my time, like in a really, really weird way, and talk down about how I'm like gonna become like a husk of a woman if I keep going on like this. I'm just like, holy shit, I okay, literally well, can't I do obviously anything. can't. Well, yeah, I obviously can't speak to that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously, but, the, the but, underlying issue, the, well, the underlying issue here is like, of course, you being a woman is going to influence the way that people respond to you. Yeah. However, I do think so. I mean, I'm not immune to implicit bias. Mm -hmm. It's a thing that I hold as well. Yeah. There were points in that where I did feel like you acting angry came in the way of you not only expressing your own points, mm -hmm. but understanding the ones being made to you. And that and keep in mind, I get called bad faith too. So does destiny. Now, Everybody. obviously, we don't in a context that's informed by gender bias, nobody's gonna like, look at us and then oh yeah this is a guy this person's bad faith as fuck like that just doesn't happen but there are times when our approach to things does get us that denunciation mm -hmm. and the difficulty is trying to determine or i guess differentiate which criticisms are legitimate and which ones aren't yeah. and if there's anything that i would end this on because this took me literally like two years to work on mm -hmm. it's knowing whose advice to trust yeah. because i know i say a lot of spicy shit and a lot of it is dumb but a lot of it I'll stand by and people criticize both. It's mm. really hard to know what's worth defending. So I find people or I find types of criticism, ones that I find more reliable. And I, I try to focus on those. And I would encourage you to develop that cultivation, that process, mm. because doing so will make it easier for you to differentiate criticisms about bad faith and anger that are worth listening to and which yeah. ones that are just people being angry because you're a woman or because you're disagreeing with somebody who's destiny's community lines. yeah i mean and i think that's a i think that's really good advice and i will take that 100 percent to heart it is something that i've been thinking of probably need to think on it even more um and it's it is difficult though because like again when i like following the destiny debate which again like uh i've rewatched that i've had like so oh my god the amount of feedback i've gotten on that is unbelievable i didn't even know it was like mm -hmm. i've never had this much attention in my life after that destiny debate which he freaked out and fucking had me on and whatever and he was really i think like it's funny nobody called him bad faith in dgg community at, like i saw it nowhere i was called bad faith all over the place he titled his stream talking with a crazy person from twitter never even put my name up or anything like that to me feels <laughs> like the definition of bad faith you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, and, I mean, it's definitely poisoning the well. Yeah. yeah but, I, and, I mean, and just on his stream, he said, oh, I don't have people like a uh, demon. Like, I mean, he, he ended his stream by saying, like, I'm, I'm harming the trans community. I'm harming leftism. I'm an active bad person and I should not yeah, be paid that. any attention. OK, Apparently. yeah, that's because he he was also big mad. You have yeah, to he's big mad. But, but what yeah, I'm okay. saying is like, uh, so following the Destiny debate, I've received thousands of comments, tons of people like watching and reviewing to it and like there's a lot of comments that I get that are just so disconnected from reality that it's like, oh my God, it's actually hard to start to tell like what's reality anymore with regards to how these people I mean, talk about me. You have to know that's my life, right? Oh I mean, yeah, absolutely. Well, what that's what I'm talking about, about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, it's it, uh, uh, unfortunately, this is like an inevitable, especially, oh, I'll say this, okay? When, when you start out doing like debate bro shit, or I guess when you start out doing any kind of debate oriented content, because it's very difficult doing this. No, it, sure. people, they watch from the sidelines. They're like, oh yeah, I could do that. No, they can't. It's incredibly difficult to find the confidence and the, the demeanor and the candor to be able to hold people's attention while also making your points. Mm -hmm. Incredibly difficult. A lot of respect for anyone who can do it. However, when you get started and... I mean that not in the sense of getting started with the talking element, getting started with the public performance element of it, yeah. which you are. Yeah. Um, one of the now. difficulties, there, there is no natural way to arrive at the correct balance of, of, of humors, mm -hmm. of, of, of um, I guess, modes of participation without direct experience. Yeah. Many people, when they get started in online debates, begin by being very conciliatory, very weak on their points. And it takes them time to strengthen those muscles, to move more towards the center, I guess, to move more towards a balance between pr effective engagement and effective conciliatory you know, posturing mm. to make you look good faith. Yeah. It's very difficult to find that balance. You may have started the same way that I did on the other side, where the yeah, performative some anger. Of my early stuff, but yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you've seen. Uh, have you seen my early streams? Yeah. I've no, been doing I, this. I meant like my early stuff was pretty conciliatory. Like I feel like um, I only. It was like I would say like halfway through this year when I realized that like 
I was never going to get to talk on a panel if I didn't learn how to be mean. And like, mm -hmm. yeah. that's just a fact. Yeah, I, that like, really, yeah. really helps. Yeah, like, I mean, uh, it's like, it's like, it's, a, I, I do think that that particular element is like kind of unique to the experience of being like femme presenting in, in Twitch, especially. Like I talked mm -hmm. about this on Prime Kai's women's only panel where it's just like, it, I'm terribly sorry. I I uh, have to go. My oh, prior okay. engagement is ruined. But I yeah, just I just want to sure. say this. Um, never never be afraid of accepting criticism once you've decided what criticism is worth listening to. And that the latter part there is infinitely harder than the former part. Once you know where to accept criticism from, everything follows very very naturally. Yeah. Um, DGG is probably not the best <laughs> resource. Oh uh, yeah, that of... much I have been able to work out. Will right, you right, accept yeah. if I take this criticism from you and try to improve? But also, but also recognize again. My earlier content was a lot angrier than it is now, especially my like early, early streams. Like even on Twitch, it's not just like anger stuff. There was yeah, a yeah. lot of other stuff I did that was like not great. For example, like the cringy over masculine performativeness, which mm -hmm. I think I handle much better now. But two years ago, I think that I was at at certain points I was like, it's pretty fucking embarrassing. But it's all about finding that dead center. And honestly, I think that your engagement, considering the short length of time you've been doing this for, is perfectly fine. I think it would be interesting, though. I don't know if he would accept it. You should go talk to Destiny sometime. 50% because it's very funny for everyone who watches it. It is true. And 50%, I, had fun. I think you should ask him about his perspectives on some of the criticisms he levied at you while watching that debate. Because if you approach that in a conciliatory manner and force him to defend the criticisms that he has made of you, not only is that a decent learning experience, he's certainly done this for longer than, well, I mean, longer than anybody, but it would also give you, like rhetorically speaking, a position to be able to defend your merits to a larger yeah, audience without seeming as though you're coming there looking for a fight yeah. just maybe an idea i don't know i no, think it'd be i think fun that's a good idea i before you go i'll just say this last thing and then we can mm -hmm. split off because i know you gotta go do stuff um but like the the thing that that got me and again this is like uh again i recognize i i can't really trust dgg at all like they're very uh you know impulsive in that way and there's huge huge amount of people so but the thing that w got me was like tons and tons of people said that i was really mean and I was like, wait, mm -hmm. Destiny was super mean in that conversation. Like he he started all of the dunks, literally starting the conversation by calling me a, like a crazy person from Twitter. And then I'm the one who gets framed as being the mean one when like he was like calling me like the degenerated clone of you. And he was claiming like I stole smiling from you apparently. Like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, mean, mean is when you're aggressive uh, plus not liked and yeah, savage is when you're aggressive and liked. That's fair. Um, yeah. There's no, there's no getting around that. Um, it's some people can be mean as shit and everybody loves them for it, yeah. you know, but it really is a matter. I guess like the way people respond to Simon Cowell, you yeah, know, yeah, or um, that mm -hmm. cook guy, it really is about the preconceived biases, but I wouldn't take it too seriously. Mm -hmm. Also, just from like a strategy perspective, engaging with larger content creators like that or through proxy, like with the, the Scrub King, I think it's a really good way of jumping into the vat. Oh, Destiny sure. said a lot of mean stuff at you, like at the very end there, but I think his perspective's a little bit off. There are some things that I disagree with you on, with especially with how you handled that conversation, but like those disagreements are largely rhetorical. The idea that because, like, I don't know, maybe you handle a discussion sometimes in mixed ways, the idea that this means you're like a, like a, a detriment to the left, like these are- uh, Not I just think, that, but a detriment to the one thing I fight the hardest for, which is trans people. <laughs> yeah, I think that's yeah, a fairly ridiculous horrible, but yeah. cr criticism, yeah. But yeah. he, listen- take, I'll take it all I, on the chin. I'm not gonna stop. But hey, I'll try, I know he um, gets upset by lefties sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, maybe talk to him. Yet. Yeah. He's so, ugh. Anyway, anyway, I hope you have a really good night. Thanks for coming on and offering me um, some really good and helpful critiques. I will. Yeah, of course. Sorry for rambling. Uh, 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 good luck. Thank you. And uh, yeah, have fun. Enjoy yeah. your stream. Thanks for coming on. Bye, Wash. All right. Peace. Hey, that was great. That was fantastic. Yeah, I'll absolutely like this to be a segment. 100%. That'd be great. That'd be great. Bye, Bosh. Yeah, that was a good conversation. Yeah, I mean, I, I, sometimes it really does feel like I can't fucking win because Destiny was such an asshole to me and every single fucking person who commented on those videos was just talking about how much of a disgusting, bad faith bitch you are. And I'm not gonna lie, it pretty much, it makes me pretty fucking, I, the one thing that makes me mad is people saying I'm a damn, like I damage trans people. Yeah, I did get my Vosh conversation. That's fucking great. Uh, and Vosh, 
got his demon mama conversation. Listen, I'm a little, listen, listen, people love to hate me. Okay. I'm just very glad. I'm very glad that I was able to have a good faith conversation with Vosh and that DGG were the whining little baby bitch liars that I thought they were. I knew it. I knew that's not what, what Vosh said. Anyway, there you go. Never let it be said, said that Demon Mama doesn't take criticism. Literally.